Crichton, man, take it easy. I'm gonna get you out of there. My legs, I can't feel them. Yeah, they're trapped under the stanchion. I'm gonna have to cut you in two. Uh, begging your pardon, sir? The Crichton, man, keep still. I'm trying to draw a line here. I don't want to go all wonky. <laughs> as much of you as possible. Sir, a couple of brief points. Uh, firstly, you are not a qualified service engineer, and consequently, sawing me in two will invalidate my guarantee. <laughs> uh, secondly, I wouldn't trust you to open a can of sardines that was already open. You're right. He really isn't dead. I owe you 20. Brighton, <laughs> are you okay? I think so, sir. There's a few bits and bobs left over. <laughs> but it's always the same when you try a bit of do-it-yourself, isn't it? Where's Mr. Rimmer? Oh, we were just going to ask you that. Uh, what happened? Well, there are gaps. I remember Mr. Rimmer spotted an S3 planet on the scope and wanted to claim it on behalf of the Space Corps. As usual, the ceremony consisted of planting the flag and singing all 23 stanzas of the Space Corps anthem. <laughs> then the planet started to erupt around us, which, frankly, came as something of a relief. <laughs> a moon quake or worse it was as if the entire planet was reshaping terraforming itself as we watched and then well, then things got a bit sketchy i remember an explosion and then blackness and then i remember mr rimmer screaming i have an image of his face twisted with fear pain anguish dread absolutely mortified did someone suggest he pick up the tab for lunch <laughs> Something took him, something awful. Can we track him, Holly? Can you get a trace on his light bee? Got him. Click and a half due south. Suggest we continue the journey by land, sir. I'll lower the caterpillar tracks. I think I've just worked out what that missing circuit board is for, sir. <laughs>